You faced Central Florida in Orlando a month ago. You go through double overtime, finishing a tie. Today you come out four goals in the first half. What was the difference tonight? I think the difference between uh, when we play UCF at Florida and here is that we wanted it, we had home field advantage. Another thing is that we had worked so hard and we learned from, we went through scouting. Uh, we learned from our mistakes, and the thing is that we came out hungry, ready to go to playoffs, ready to go to UConn. That's our goal, and so I feel like that was the difference from from when we play UCF is that we weren't really, really, you know, focused and you know, and wanting to, to win. And today was the day to we got like within 10 seconds of, of of the starting point, we got a penalty and we scored. So that goes to show you that we're really hungry to win and we want to go to UConn and win the entire conference tournament. You mentioned the penalty kick that John Lujano scored 10 seconds in. So you're basically playing the entire game with a lead. How does that change things for you? What does it allow you to do that? Uh... I think psychologically it, it affects the, the opponent because you're like, you know, right away when we scored, they're like, what, what happened? What's going on? And you can see right away from the players that, oh, you know, this is going to be a, this is going to be a tough game. And when we scored the second one, we know it is right away that psychologically they just went down. And I mean, when, once you score two goals within like 10 minutes, the opponent up exposes their, their, their uh, weaknesses and then we took advantage of that we had no mercy did you see anything in practice leading up to this that indicated you might have a four goal game or a four goal half in you no honestly no I thought we were gonna win my prediction was gonna be 2-0 but when we scored four goals in the first one I'm like wow we're that's amazing I mean I, we didn't predict that but you know obviously it was it was a good thing all right we've asked you this before yeah. you had two goals in your first three years yeah. now you have six this year <laughs> Is this just right place at the right time, or is there something really different that about your game that has evolved as a senior? Over the past three years, I've learned uh, a lot of great things from, from my coaches, and I feel like this past summer, I worked so hard in trying to you know, evolve my game, to take my game to a, a different level, and you know, watching other great players in, in, in Barcelona, and Real Madrid, and I feel like just watching a lot of tape, a lot of uh, you know, videos helped me out and, and helped me take a different direction to, uh, into my career, and I feel like also Huddy, Tim, they helped me out a lot. Our players helped me out a lot, so I feel like I was just, I'm more hungry this year than any other years. So I feel like this is my last year, so uh, I love it. Stanton Garcia assisted both of your goals tonight. Coincidence, or is there something that you and he have worked on that has helped you develop some chemistry? For Stan, there's no coincidence. That guy works really, really hard, and all the credit goes to, to him, because without him, I couldn't score both goals. He works so hard on and off the field. That guy, he deserves all the credit, and I don't want to take anything away from it. So, you know, I, I really thank Stan for working hard, and he's no coincidence. It just happens when you work hard. You had a 4-0 lead at halftime, certainly your biggest halftime lead of the season, mm -hmm. maybe of your career. What do you and your teammates and coaches talk about at halftime when you have that big of a lead to protect? I think when you're when you're up 4-0, it's all about being mature, able to control yourself. Because I know when you're up 4-0, you're like, oh, we won the game, you know, that, that type of mindset. But you, you really can't let your guard down because at any moment they can score one, two goals, and then they're back in the game. So I feel like it's just being having the experience and being mature about it, able to control yourself and your, your emotions and, you know, go along with it and just, you know, work hard. Cincinnati lost to Tulsa tonight. So you get Tulsa on Friday for the third time this year. You split the first two meetings with them. What do you expect the third time around? I think third time around, <clears throat> we're both in, in, a, in a neutral zone, neutral field. We're at UConn. They're at UConn. Uh, and I feel like this this time we're going to go back and you know watch video and, and scout them. And we've played them so many times. We know what, what players are good, what players are not. And I feel like you know the coaches are very, very good at coming up with new strategies so I feel like uh, now that we have a 4 <laughs> winning game we have so much confidence and I feel like we're going to go out there and, and, and prove a lot of people wrong that we can beat Tulsa and so I'm, I'm very happy about that.